So he who has ears to hear, let him hear. Didn't Jesus say that oftentimes? My wealth is at stake for you. Unlimited provision of the Most High. That's his wealth. Do I lack? Shall I want? My wealth is at stake for you. My word says that you shall not want. Is this message for everybody? Yes and no. It's for a he that has ears to hear. So those that don't want to hear this word today will not be able to go where those words will take them. If you have ears to hear, you will be able to go where these words will take you today. It'll be a new place in a new way that you might not have seen before. But my people are called to go there and stay, to go there and live. This new way, this higher way, the low way is getting old listen to me the old way is getting old it's getting worn out it won't always be there so you have to grab onto the new way and the new height and the new words that come to you grab onto them and know that they're the way for you to go and they're the thing that will take you there my god shall supply all your need don't separate those words because they contain a very potent and powerful message for you today if you have ears to hear all your need all your need say all your need. all your need not one of your needs not a portion of one of your needs not some barely get by part of your needs and you just made it my God shall supply all your needs I have many things to say to you this morning so you need to hold on and keep listening I am not interested in providing for your mediocrity it doesn't please me God's provision for you is not to meet your need God's provision for you is to meet all your needs and the only way he meets all your needs is to bring you to wealth do you understand which is himself see that would be really good if people would hear that God's provision for you is to bring you to wealth and not just meet your need you know you praying to God to meet your need sounds like this <laughs> how long you want to listen to that and besides you're not praying anything he has he has wealth he doesn't have some get me by but if you go to heaven and you look in the cupboard you will not be able to find one single can of get me by it doesn't exist there and we're supposed to pray God's will on earth as it is in heaven and you're asking him to give you some get me by and he doesn't have any your prayer is a miss on the way up here I heard these words God never intended you to live by your job he intended for you to live by your wealth Philippians 419 my God shall supply what oh. all your need what's that sound like wealth or poverty the answer is wealth my friend Deuteronomy 8 18 but thou shalt remember the Lord thy God for it is he that giveth thee power to get by God gives you power to get wealth what kind of wealth his kind of wealth his wealth his complete provision stop praying God send me enough money so that I can barely get out of this and then I'll be asking you the same thing next month you start praying God show me change me that I may have your wealth that I may never ever ever want want can't even creep into any of the corners of my head in the deep recesses anywhere somewhere where there's a shadow remember he's light there is none zero zippo you know it bothers me because everybody tries to back off of this and if you back off of it it gives people if if here's the message and you back off of it a little bit then that's where people put their faith and it's a miss they've missed it right they asked a miss they asked for something God doesn't have they asked for something that's not God's will for you it is not God's will for you to get by isn't that a great message I should get a bumper sticker it is not God's will for you to get by 
it's his will for you to be in wealth so that getting by is never even a thought mm -hmm. God is wealth and in him there is no poverty at all are you here mm -hmm. we pray for God to give us wealth at this church wealth say wealth. wealth get used to it it's not a dirty word it's not even a four-letter word get me by is taken care of with the wealth that God is bringing you to and see we're so clouded and our mind is so small and then the way things we think are so small that we don't let God minister to us God minister to our mind and wash over your mind and bring his wealth in there because we're so caught up on looking somewhere else he's not bringing any temporary solution to your little needs he gets no pleasure out of it he gets pleasure out of making you the richest in the East you mean God's not gonna provide some get me by no he's not he never provides you with get you by he's always trying to bring you to the place of wealth he's always trying to get the answer of complete provision for you through so you have to stop looking for the get me by solution because it's not coming and we spin our wheels looking for the not coming and we say it's coming we imagine it's coming we talk about how it's coming it's not the provision from heaven is coming which is wealth the full provision the immaculate measure the big solution that covers all the little things so don't be discouraged don't be upset that your little need isn't going to be met I didn't say that your little need is met by my solution which is wealth but some people don't want that do you see why so many people are, are mired in things is because they don't want the answer they don't want the answer God is showing you in his word all every fullness and they're not serving him for the all and the every and therefore they're serving him for the little thing and he doesn't have it and if you serve him for the little thing the curse comes on you because you're not serving for anything he has he is light no darkness he is wealth no poverty you understand if you want your solution start praying wealth no poverty come to me and then God will go that's my man that's my woman here we go finally someone I can be pleased in he's not pleased by shelling out fifty dollars here and there He's, it's like you know that's like saying God's gonna be pleased by throwing quarters into a, a beggars cup that's his church they're begging and he's throwing quarters in their cup so they can continue on in their little drunken fix of religion that's not his provision her provision his provision is to pick you up out of that drunken religious state with your little cup clean you up and put you in wealth are you telling me that the Christians should be praying for wealth I'm telling you if you aren't praying for wealth you're not praying for the right thing you're supposed to pray your wealth onto the earth as it is in heaven if you don't go there God won't be pleased with you the things individually it's not wealth you understand just paying for a bill is not wealth that's just enough to get me by it's okay but that's not the solution that's not the answer the answer is all the things taken together God bringing you to your place of wealth God bringing you and changing you that you may stand in the glory that is his and that he's called you to stand in from the beginning of time and you shall stand there and please him when you stand in his wealth which is also your wealth so don't think that it doesn't belong to you I've paid the price to get it to you now you must pay the price to stand in it and walk in it and don't choke me off with your smallness of faith but embrace me that I am the God of greatness and the God of wealth and he will take you there and be pleased with you father we thank you for it in Jesus name